Good morning friends. This is Ansi from Lifestyle Today News Delhi. So uh, today is 28th March 2024. It's a Wednesday. The most viral news today is about Dr. Trihan, the chairman of Midanta in Gurgaon, the non-capital uh, region of Delhi. He has been seen appearing in a deep fake video. In the video, it is shown that he was promoting a weight loss drug and the video became viral. However, authorities of Medanta found that the news is fake, that the information is fake and the doctor has not created such a video or he has not been part of such a video. But the video was becoming viral and because the doctor is one of the most prominent doctors in India, this video was going to influence a lot of people uh, who were trying for weight loss and he was shown using a drug and so that will get promoted and that will create health hazard to many. The authorities immediately filed a case with the Gurgaon police and the Gurgaon police is investigating. The video is no longer available in, on the internet. So a big problem has been solved for now. So previously videos have come up of celebrities where the where a figure of some other person was used and the face of a celebrity was used. In all those cases, when cases were filed, legal actions were taken against the deepfake video creators. It could be located. But in this case, in this um, Dr. Trihan's video case, this is a more grave situation because it is the health of the people uh, that will be affected and they will believe the content in the video. And because they see that a prominent doctor is promoting a weight loss drug, the drug could be used creating health problem to the users and it can go lethal also. You know how many people have lost their life uh, because of going on weight loss uh, um, you know, treat, uh, treatment without in being in consultation with experts. So again and again AI is creating a problem. Now meddling with the health, health of the common man. So no, nowadays another problem is there that nowadays we know there are fake and verified news and there are some news agencies also that check on the news and find out if it is a fake news or real news. Yesterday it so happened that a WhatsApp video appeared of Chief Justice of India. You know now Chief Justice of India is in the limelight and so an instruction has come up. Uh, from him a poster of instruction from him to the Indian citizens about the elections and all those things a poster has come up with a stamp uh, that it was verified meaning that the news has been verified however the news has been found to be fake and it is one year old and it has been repeatedly appearing in whatsapp groups for the last one year so, it's happening again and again and uh, uh, see now the AI has come to use for the common man but AI and chat GPT, they, all those things were in use for the last so many years. Experts were using that but now common man has been using. Now Google, the parent company of YouTube has yesterday, they have said to his uh, put a message to the YouTube creators. The I haven't received the message in India but it has come up with uh, to some YouTubers they said they have received and the details have come uh, online with some instruction for YouTube creators about using artificial intelligence. So the so that the contents are transparent and it should not be confusing or misleading. So as to separate the real from the synthetic so for that they have brought up a checklist in the detailed section of the uh, youtube uh, site 
so when you go to the youtube dashboard and you create a video there is a detail section where you put the detail the title and the description and all that under the description below the description section you have seen where uh, it asks whether the content is made for kids or not so you have to add yes or no so now uh, under that column there is now another instruction it says altered content it's in bold and then it says do any of the following describe your content number 1 makes a real person say or do something they didn't say or do number 2 alter for footage of a real event or place number 3 generate a realistic looking scene that didn't actually occur so uh, in this the first one make a real person say or do something they didn't say or do that is what has happened in dr trihan's case he hasn't uh, done it but somebody has used his face and made him uh, through ai they have artificially synthetically made look like he has said something that he didn't say or do the second is altering footage of of real events or places now that the elections are on russia it has happened it's going to happen in the us it's go before that it's going to happen in india so millions of people are uh, going to vote in that case some sensitive issues will come up the footage sometimes the countries also differ uh, the footage they are showing in india that might have happened somewhere in africa you don't know where the in, in incident happened and the the footage will be changed to say, create a problem among the people and to mislead the public so for the voting and elections and all that that time this kind of things are happening and and the third is they generate realistic looking scenes that didn't actually occur using the ai they can create uh, scenes that didn't actually occur so uh, these are the things that you have if any uh, any of these are there then you have to press yes or no if there any of this is there then you have to press yes if everything is original on your part then press no uh, i haven't seen any of this on my indian youtube channel so i think it's not yet implemented in india but i haven't received the message also if somebody has received please do comment and these in but these instructions are very important for the youtube creators whether in india or abroad this thing is very important you have to keep all this in mind when creating a, a video uh, and not only for the youtube creator for those with website who are focusing on the seo these instructions are very important when you depend on or alternate intelligence that is artificial intelligence ai so but there are some things that they have said creators won't be required to disclose when synthetic or ai content is clearly unrealistic when you see that you know it's unrealistic uh, then that ai generated uh, you know animation slight adjustment those things people can make out it's not real and um, they have they don't have to disclose if generative ai was used for productivity like generating scripts content ideas or automatic captions so in case if you violate any of these things if you are uh, giving that these things have been synthetically manipulated then that will be those content will be highlighted by youtube uh, on the other hand if you are not labeling as uh, synthetic uh, if you are not uh, disclosing then you may pay, face penalties such as content removal or suspension from youtube partner program so under which the creators monetize the channel so now the same rule applies for website content developers also nowadays people think that uh, why keep a writer why not create artificial content using the uh, uh, ai intelligence you give the topic and boom the content is ready however that is creating problem because plagiarisms are there the content and uh, 
Sometimes the content that is created is not updated and the robots that the Google and other um, web engines are using, they are very uh, updated. They know where the plagiarisms occur and then the your SEO will be affected. So for that, beware the use only the uh, artificial intelligence for generating scripts content ideas and automatic uh, captions and for those who are there to create problems there to create defects and manipulate the people for um, those people we have to be the users we have to be alert on our part when the elections are round the corner in many parts of the world we have to be alert we have to find out Find out whether the content just don't believe on one form of information, one, uh, one media of information. Search different places, use your own brains and stay updated using different methods. Book reading is also important. Newspaper reading is also important. So all those methods, make sure that you have a real idea about what is going on instead of following the deep fake videos so that's all friends for today and see you again tomorrow with a new topic and please do comments uh, comment in the um, comment section so that i can come up with a new topic and also if you have more information about the deep fake videos and about artificial intelligence uh, you can share that also thank you so much see you tomorrow with a new topic